Okay, we're going to make this homemade riddle um, for sifting green sand. You could also use it in the garden or um, anywhere that you need to sift something. Uh, it's made out of a five gallon bucket and a piece of screen. Got this eighth inch hardware cloth and I'm going to take this five gallon bucket and I'm going to cut the bottom off of it and then I'm going to soften that plastic and see if I can get it to um, weld to this wire. So it's an experiment. We're going to try it and see how it works. Okay, as I think about this, I think really I want I want this to be the top because it's got nice. This is pretty this is pretty flexible. So I think I'm gonna cut it off probably about here. I'm gonna try cutting it off about there, and so my riddle will be this riddle probably needs to be about that much of it right there. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, when I sit that down on the table like that, it gives me a pretty good, it's pretty flat. And I think I need that because I'm going to get this bottom edge hot and I'm going to press it into that wire. And hopefully it's going to goo around those wires and stick. That's the idea anyway. Now I'm thinking this is still, this edge is pretty thin. So I think I might want to cut a ring of this and put it on here. Probably have to go on the inside to make this um, twice that thick. So it'll have a little bit more to grab onto. So I tell you what, I think I'm going to cut another piece that same thickness so it'll just come all the way up here. We'll see how that does. <clears throat> okay, so I want the thinner, the thinner part. Well, now it's going to be more like... More like that. Okay, so I ran this down in there. I put a mark on it and how far down it came. And then I've set the saw to cut that much off. So here we go. So now, if I put this down in there, that's a, yeah, that's going to be pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, and see that's doubled my edge there. Whether that's important or not, I don't know, but surely it'll help. Okay, let me go get some more stuff and we'll see about getting getting this heated up. Okay, so here's the setup. Uh, I've got, this is a piece of quarter inch steel. I got a fire, couple of fire bricks to put it up on. And I'm going to clean this just to kind of get the, it's got a lot of rust on it. So. just to kind of get it smooth and wipe it off with an old t-shirt. Okay. 
Now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this up like a griddle, because my wife wouldn't like it if I used her pancake griddle. So we're gonna heat this up. Then we're gonna lay this wire on here like this. This is all in theory anyway. And then we're gonna put this down on there and we're gonna try, we're gonna press it in and hopefully it's going to adhere to this wire. We'll see. We've got one of these propane burners here and we've got to get this plastic up to about 250 degrees for it to melt. So it's really not all that high. But condensation on it right at the first. Now that's drying off. piece of that plastic so that I can see when it's hot enough to melt it okay it's pretty cold out here today so but you know that's even right there it's, it's melting a little bit That's doing pretty good right there. Let me give it a little bit more. I want to make sure it's hot enough. Hope it doesn't stick to this steel. Now, here we go. That little bit of plastic I put on there is smoking. Okay, here we go. Well, so far, nothing's happening. Now it's starting to go. Starting to get a little squishing around the edges. It's a good sign. Not everywhere. Yep, here it's starting to come here too. Looks like it's doing a ooh, moved. Push it down pretty hard here. It looks like it's welding itself into that. Pretty good. Okay, now, let's see what happens if we, well, I don't know that I should, let me get a little water and I'll cool it off. Holding the water in there good. 
It's got probably a let me bring you over here so you got probably a quarter inch of water in there that's boiling away. You can see around the edges, see how it's kind of bubbled up. We can clean all that up. The inside's got just a kind of a little bit like that same thing in there. Oh look, we got some big bubbles out here. I think we can we're gonna have to kind of grind the edges of this anyway to get this um uh, wire cleaned up so all right let this cool off and then we'll come back all right i'm going to try to loosen this up with a putty knife it doesn't look like it hurt my sheet of steel here i don't think i warped it any this actually isn't my sheet of steel this was a, a, a piece that my son bought okay i had thought about you know spraying this with some kind of lubricant to help this release, but I was afraid it might get in to the union between the plastic and the, um, but I mean, the thing is, it's stuck on there. I thought it might mess up the, the union between the, the wire and the plastic. Ooh, that's really stuck. I want to be careful I don't mess up the wire. Come back here. Okay. And that sounded like it kind of popped loose, which is good. That water's starting to come out now. Get my hands wet. Okay, let's just try to run that water out on the ground. Let me get some snips and cut this wire off. I'm gonna save as much of this wire as I can. This stuff's it's high. They don't give it away. Finish working, working this around. that's gonna be great okay look see how it's all dirty but there's plastic all underneath the wire okay so let's take it inside and we'll work on getting this cleaned up I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim I'll trim this wire pretty close around the edge see what that looks like if I need to, I'll then run a grinder or a sand, sander might be a good idea. Run a sander around the edge just to clean those wires up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll do a, I'll try a sander, but we'll, anyway, this, this wire is in there. It's in there really good. Okay, let's see if we can get this trimmed up. You know, if you wanted to make one of these, you wouldn't have to have all this equipment. You could, you know, you could cut this out with a 
a hand saw or a hacksaw, you just have to mark you a line all the way around it because it needs to be pretty flat. When you set it down, it needs to be pretty flat. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can see it melted um, quite a bit. But you could also, you know, you wouldn't have to heat it on a big sheet of steel like that with that torch. You could just, you could do this on, I would think you could, if you could find something that big, a griddle that big or a pan of some sort, you could heat it on a stove. You know, I'm not an expert at this, so you have to be careful you don't get it too hot or something like that. But All right, so yeah, there's some pretty, pretty ugly looking wires sticking out the sides. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so let's go in and clean it up a little bit more. Let's take it into the sander. You know, you could do this with a file or, or keep clean it. You could just leave it like this and put some tape around it or something. I'm gonna go see if I can put this on the sander and clean these edges up. Here we are on uh, one of the sanders and let's see how this is gonna, see how it ain't gonna work because, well, let's see. No, because this part's gonna hit before that does. I could raise this up. Let me find something to raise it up. Okay, all right, we got it raised up. This is just a two by six and this is a two by, I guess, 10 sitting right here. So that will allow me to run this. It's still gonna hit that part. I'm gonna just hold it up for that. And then, well, if I put one more piece of something, I don't know, we'll just try it. It might not even work. All right, here we go. Be working for you, man. Yeah, it's working. It's not real fast. It's cutting the wires off better than it's doing the plastic. Oops. Probably the plastic is gumming up. Alright, so let's just do a little. Okay. I mainly just want to get the wires so I'm not tearing my hand up every time I use this thing. Sort of folded, folded those over. Well, that's better. It's not great. Need to sand it some more. Let's see what this is. Yeah, see that plant. All right, so I've moved over here and uh, put this in the device and using a belt sander. This is working better. trying to get that whole edge off. I'm just trying to get it so it's not so dang sharp. See what that'll cut you right there. Okay, that's really sharp right there. All right, let's see. And 
nothing like testing stuff with your own flesh. All right, let's start there. This was better back in the days when you had apprentices that you could test stuff on. That's just a joke. Okay. <clears throat> Blazing that one up pretty good too. Yeah, it's doing a good job though. It's getting it where it's going to be easy to handle. Okay, I think I'm all the way around. Okay, that's it. So, I can see that. So there we are. We got a good weld in there, all the way around, around the edges. I'm really happy with that. And it was, it was super easy. I don't know if you ever bought a riddle or you've, or like for ceramics, you know, you buy them with these screens in the bottom. And a lot of them are just basically the same thing. They take the screen, they take this and they, heat it and they mash it down in there and they're really expensive so i'm gonna have to make some of these for my pottery too but this one's going to be for uh, riddling uh, green sand thanks for watching